You know, that, that brings me to, uh, you know, I'm so curious about coaches. I always want to know how did they get where they got, how did they become what they became, how does uh, a Chuck Daly have a David Stern say he's irreplaceable? We, we, we can't have another Chuck Daly again. Um, and I think the interesting thing of what we're going to present uh, in, in, in our programs is we're going to take a coach like a Chuck Daly. Now, we're really fortunate. I think I am because, as I told you, don't tell me anything about it. You'll tell me a little bit today, I'm sure, but don't give me everything because I want my pen and my paper to be writing down everything you say because I know how, how good he is. I know that not many coaches did we wear, and we wore it every playoff game, the CD mm -hmm. pin. Um, I mean, speak a little bit, if you don't mind, about what, what we're going to do with Chuck Daly. You know, I, I'm, I'm lucky. I knew, I knew him for 43 years. Uh, since I was 15 years old, he was my first coach at a basketball camp, five-star basketball camp. He was the coach, the first lecturer ever at five-star basketball camp, the historic camp. And he, and the first time I met him, I said, what a classy guy. And even when I was a young kid, I said, man, this guy's special. He's different. And then... As I went, became a high school player, and he was a recruiter for Duke University, and he would come by our school and our summer leagues, and I'd see him at camps. I said, boy, this guy, even in the summertime, he's dressed great. He and George Rappling were the only guys who would wear a suit to a summer league, mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. know? Then mm -hmm. they, you know, because they stood out. He had a great Left-handed yourself. Left-handed did. Yep. You're absolutely yep. right. When he went to Maryland, he absolutely did. And then, so it was, he was special. You knew when he walked in the house. But he always, always took time for you. His people skills were off the charts. And I think that's the biggest separator that any of us that have worked, had the pleasure to work for him, knew about him. But he's the Will Rogers of coaching. He had so many great, great sayings, almost yogiisms, but they were, yogiisms are kind of funny. Chuck's were full of purpose. And, you know, and I think, you know, one of his famous things that I think all NBA coaches and college coaches should live by is that you know you get to coach players as long you get to coach as long as players let you to coach which is a great way of mm. understanding really who you're coaching for they are the people you're coaching for but he he was just full of I have over 30 dailyisms that I'm going to wow. share with our people but it's about leadership it's about uh, totally being humble great humility but a fierce competitor that loved to win and you know, he's the perfect coach for that original dream team. And I'm going to share some ideas and some thoughts on how he became the coach. Even. That, that's what I think is going to be neat. They're going to go, they're actually going to be in the locker room in the staff meetings that you were in. And I, I think that's going to be terrific. I'll tell you, what, I, I can't wait. Yeah. It's going to be special.